they eventually, they were taken from our home, our apartment where we last lived when I was there, and all the Jews were moved into sort of a ghetto area. And I can't tell you what it was like there, but I did correspond with my mother. When I first went to Sweden, she would send me packages with clothing, like a pair of stockings, and she would send, tell me in the letter, you be sure to mend those stockings. They had a hole in them. And when I looked at the stockings, her gold watch was in there. And, and little things like that. We corresponded. She, they were able to send me letters. And then I was able to send them packages. I don't know if they ever got them or if they were able to eat the stuff. but like canned uh, sardines and nutritious food. It went, was sent via Portugal, I think. And they got it they, because they would send a card to acknowledge it. Whether the Germans took it from them after, I have no idea. But we were doing that from Sweden. Then from Eschwege, from this ghetto area they were living in, they were sent to Theresienstadt where they were, in, I think, in 40, 1942. And they were there to, to September, October 1944, and then they were sent to Auschwitz. And there is a movie, which I think Jeffrey has a copy of it, where I think I see my mother, uh, about Theresienstadt, where I thought I saw my mother in that movie. It doesn't make any difference. It's not going to bring her back.